thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, uh, let's get ready to rumble! All right, so the next thing we, we will look at is the company's ability to access capital, all right? So access to capital is a next risk factor that we want to assess. So I could jump over to JP, JFP balance sheet. All right. And one of the, one of the things why them did a beat JFP so bad is the fact that the company has a very low cash balance. And if you look on your screen, you see where cash balance, let me do that in a, in a, in a, in a put that in a color where you can see it. All right. Now put it in a red color. So here goes cash balance in red. Look at the red cell. All right. So cash balance was four hundred and fifty-two thousand dollar. The lowest cash balance has ever been since the company started out. Cash balance was coming from forty-six million dollars. All right. So the company almost used up all that cash. Ninety-nine percent cash balance fall by. So when analysts sees this, they must say the company basically now work with no cash. So them see that has been risky, but what them them not tell the full story, because there's another side to that story. All right. So if you are talking about cash balance and the company riskiness, what you need to look at first is your working capital. Seeing because you just want cash so the company can operate. So working capital is a real assessment of your ability to operate. So if I check working capital, and let me put that in a different color so you can follow. Put that in a, a, a light blue or green. Be it a light blue color. So working capital, as I can see, it, it did fall off some 44%, but working capital was like $66 million. All right. So the company has $66 million in working capital. And 2020, the company have $119 million in working capital. All right, and if you notice, 2020 was the the crisis, uh, the COVID crisis. So I could go before 2020 and look at 2020, 19 working capital. 2019 was a good year for the company. I will see where the company have 42 million dollars in working capital, right? So pre-COVID, the company was surviving, was doing business comfortably with 42 million dollars in working capital. 2021, the company has $66 million in working capital, yet the analysts and the investment sector, the financial sector, claim that this company runs high risk. All right, so I'm going to go back on the cash balance. I'm going to show you something. The company has no cash because the company chooses not to keep any cash. All right, so we see we are in 2020, cash balance was $40 million. I'm going to just paint that in red. All right, also. So cash balance has come from $40 million in 2020. And the company decided to just use a cash balance there and buy some investment. These are companies, follow the red, the red cell. These are companies that are listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. The company decided to use the cash and buy that at this time. So what that really has said to me is that this DAR, picture where them are paint is not that bad because management would have known whether or not the company can survive on the cash, the, the, the 450,000 cash, dollar cash with them have. Hence, management use the money and try do some investment. All right. Now, if you look at receivables also, and this is what plays out into a good working capital, Management have some $95 million out of road for collect in terms of receivables. So management do some work and them owe, them owe the company. So these are all access to capital, you know. So it's not like a company could not access capital if there is an issue or there is a problem to get capital. All right. And another big point for score here is your property plant and equipment. These can use as collateral for access capital again. 
if management really need capital, him just put them thing as collateral and borrow against them. All right. So the doom and gloom situation where the financial sector did a paint as it relates to JFP. I think it's, it's a false narrative. All right. So I could go over to the other company. All right. So we're looking at the balance sheet of Edifocal. All right. And we're seeing from the get go net or working capital, net current asset. And that's the green cell that you see just painting green. And you see where net current asset for 2018, 2019, or 2020 was negative. So the company has no money currently to operate the business up to 2020. And we'll see where that was reversed to two or $23 million in 2021. However, 2021 is not audited financial figures, so that's subjected to changes. All right. So the company was operating on some 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 negative operate um, working capital up to 2020 before the company switched and is now operating with some working capital. All right. So majority of that working capital was coming from receivables where the company has $114 million in receivables coming from $33 million. All right, so we said where receivables was sticking up, rising very fast. All right, so that means the company was selling some services or some products without being able to collect money on, 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 its, on, 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 on work done. So that lead us now to look at the cash balance. And we'll see where cash balance tick up to $16 million in 2021. That will look bad. But cash balance has always been low over the years. $2 million, $495 million in 2020 to now $16 million. All right. So from that perspective, the company no looks so bad. It looked like it a, it a come on. All right. But can this balance sheet access capital that is a question that we need to ask so we look at the non-current asset and we see where property plant and equipment is only three million dollars so this company is a company that does not work with the brick and the mortar situation so most of its asset is in intangibles all right so what that mean the company could not go to the bank and get a loan and use any of his assets as collateral. And that's a big problem. And when you look at the financials and the loans that the company was able to access, you realize the management have to use personal asset to back the loan them, such as the loan that the JMM, that JMMB lent to the firm. The loan that NCB lent to the firm was backed by some commercial property which is not the company's property and because of that now the company was paying a high a very high cost for accessing capital so again this is round four and it seems like jfp win this one again as it relates to access to capital, JFP was and is in a better position to get money to start out its business. Merkel go on to round five.